Hi there. So I've decided I'm going to have a trip out in the van tonight. Um, I've come just up towards um, Camus area in Northumberland. Um, Silent B, in case anyone searches for it. Um, I'm off work tomorrow, so I just thought I'd have a night away. I was going to bring the dog, uh, but I forgot to pick the dog up. <laughs> so, however, picked someone else up instead. Uh, she's came in, well, I was going to say her car. She's came in my car, because it's working now. Um, managed to get the, the faults fixed on it. Uh, but Laura is not off work tomorrow, so she has to go home and get ready and go to work. Whereas I can, well, maybe have a lie-in, maybe not, who knows. Um, as we pulled up, there's a few vans here already. So there's one literally right in front of us here. I'm parked sideways. Um, and then there's about three or four behind as well plus a few cars plus lorries so yeah um i'm gonna go and have a cuppa in the van with laura so we've just had our cuppas um we're just relaxing in the back of the van just chilling out um we need a make something to eat for our evening meal um we call it tea some people call it dinner other people call it scran <laughs> um, but yeah we need to have some to eat right laura so why don't you explain to everyone what you are having <laughs> for tea i've got hot dogs <laughs> what are you having so rob had seen something on a a different video that he watches. Ad's a different ventures. channel. Ad's yeah. Ventures, yeah. Um he's got a ridge monkey and oh, what he does is he puts the, the pizza into the ridge monkey and does he put another pizza on top? No, he folds it in half and oh, has it like a cazo. Right, so he folds it in half and then you flip it over and yeah. cook the other side. Cook it. Yeah, cook it, flip it over. Obviously the ridge monkey when you've got the two pans together like that acts like there's a little mini oven so Laura wants to have a pizza so we're gonna try having a pizza yeah um if you see the pizza and you see Laura eating the pizza it worked <laughs> if it didn't work we'll delete this whole footage and you'll <laughs> never know that we failed so we had set up outside the van and um, but it's a little bit windy and cold so we've Put it just inside. Um, just gonna check it. Oh, I need to flip it first, don't you? Check it. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's starting to go. Starting to brown, isn't it? Yeah. yeah we're gonna lose some cheese. Is, though, it's obviously it's concentrating the heat in one area. Yeah. So, oh. Yeah, my stove. My stove isn't the best. Um, my lightweight hiking one but the handles on it are making it kind yeah, of yeah tip yeah so well, we're going to take them off but we've then we've got the big stove but uh, we've got the bench full yeah. of junk so can't really cook on it no. i mean we've got the little cartridge stove we're going to use i suppose i mean but i think this is going to be all right i think it is we'll see how it goes it is going slowly so it's starting yeah. to brown there and then flip it over and do the magic don't drop it. Yeah, so it's starting to brown. So it is a bit. starting yeah, to we'll go. Just, we'll just have to keep manoeuvring yeah. it around. This is where Robert's staying tonight. It was a recommendation by one of our friends. See it, it's absolutely freezing. See the sea's quite rough there as well. We're just swapping cookers over. There. So we've got it on this cooker now. So we can Keep it flat and not risk it falling off because obviously the pan's yeah, getting hot. Plus, it might cook it more evenly. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, 
that looks nice now. <laughs> Right, so I think that's done. It looks on both sides. Yeah, done enough for me. Is it? Is it hard or is it? It's. Yeah, I mean it's soft. It's just like a, a normal pizza. Like if you cooked it in the cooker. Yeah, I'm happy with What's that. Yeah, yeah. So it looks a bit like a tortilla. Melted cheese, best oh, bits. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, turn it off. That's it there. So, the moment of truth. Is oh, it going to be nice? I know. Well then. Mm. It's not as hot as I thought it was going to be in the middle. So, that's a good sign. Is it cooked? Yeah. Is it? Or just nice, just, just tastes like pizza, or yeah, just yeah. tastes like pizza. Um, well, we do have another one. <laughs> I might have that instead of me hot dogs, mm -hmm. or I might have that as well as the hot dogs. So, if by some miracle, Mister Adventure sees this, what's <laughs> your verdict? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. So, is it the one? It is the one. <laughs> Right, so where to begin? Um, don't worry, I have got the camera mounted. I just need to keep looking down at it. I know I shouldn't while I'm driving. Uh, so I had to abandon the park up where we were at. Um, there was trains constantly going back and forward to the factory. Um, but they had, as well, they had the gates locked and they said that they were going to be, like, going all night when I spoke to them. So, yeah, um, Laura was at risk of being locked in. Obviously, she needed to get away. So, we said, you know, let's go back to the old faithful Blythe, Blythe Beach car park. Um, so, we just, we packed up all of our stuff, headed towards Blythe Beach car park. Uh, we got to Blythe Beach and all the parking was suspended for resurfacing. So I thought, right, well, I'll go down to Seton Sluice where I stayed a few weeks ago when I had a little Simba with me. So the bit of the road where the bays were not, where I parked up, um, they were full. So <laughs> I said, like, what, what do I do, you know? So. We've just decided to just scrap it and go home. Um, as much as I don't want to, it's it's just one of them things. So we're busy just driving home now, um, as you can see. So so I'm just having to keep an eye on the road as well because it's a, a windy road. I don't want to be crashing. So like I say, obviously the camera's mounted, so that's. That's one thing. I'm not having to hold a camera or anything. Um, I mean, I don't know how good the mount is like. So hopefully, hopefully it's a, a stable video. I don't know. I'll find out when I do the editing. Um, it's only mounted. It's one of them things. Do you know where it clips onto the air vents? So um, yeah, like I say, hopefully it's hopefully it's stable enough. But. Yeah, so I'll come back to you once I'm home. See you in a bit. Right, so that's us. Well, I'm back home. Laura's just there in my car, getting out. Um, yeah, like I say, it started out a cunning night, but it is what it is.
Uh, we're quite fortunate in the sense that we've got a home to come back to. Um, obviously, I know there's people in vans who aren't that lucky. Obviously, the van is their home. So, I think what I'm going to have to do is bite the bullet and pay for the Park for Night app. I don't normally pay for apps if there's a free version of it, but... I think for, I think it's a tenner per year or something like that. Um, I'm going to have to bite the bullet, I think, and just, just pay it. Because it brings up a lot more parking spots as far as I'm aware. Um, we did have another quick look on the app before. We couldn't find anywhere like local to where we were, which is why we decided we would come home. Um, yeah, anyway... That's it. Home. Go to sleep in my proper bed instead of the van bed, which obviously it's it's comfortable, but it's a shame because I was looking forward to being out in the van. But it is what it is. Such is life. So all right. Let's say good night and goodbye from this failed adventure. Hopefully the next one will be better. See you later. Bye.